Hey guys, it's Lauren from the Weight Wise Fitness Center. Today I'm going to talk to you about some lower back stretches. So I have a lot of you that come in every once in a while that talk about some aches and pains back here. And especially as you lose weight, you get a lot more active. So people tend to start noticing that, you know, different areas start to hurt. A lot of the times when people talk about their backs hurting after weight loss surgery, you got to think about gravity. You know, some of us have more weight carrying in the front, so therefore your spine is tilted all the time. So as you lose weight, you stand up a lot taller. Our posture um, gets a lot better. So we kind of stress those muscles a little bit differently um, through different periods of our life. So um, a few things I'm going to show you today are all done on the floor. So um, what we're going to show you today is just laying back down. So we're going to lay down on our back, pressing those shoulders into the floor, placing those hands down, and just pulling those feet in and practicing tilting that pelvis. So we want to make sure that back is completely flat on the floor. So if I lift my hips, pull my hips down towards the mat, my lower back comes up. But if I press them up, I'm now in that neutral spine here. So I want to try to stay there. I'm just going to pull maybe that right knee into my chest and then add into that left knee, just pulling it in here. And sometimes just rocking side to side feels really nice. Just kind of gets into that lower area, gives a nice little massage. So that's another way to do it. But pulling those knees into the chest definitely pulls into those hamstrings, pulls into the glutes, and releases into the lower spine. Another way that you could do this would be placing that left leg on the floor and placing that right leg across. So we're gonna take that right ankle to that right leg and press that right knee away. You could also reach uh, through, pulling that left leg towards us. So we wanna make sure that that knee is not pulling in. So we're gonna kind of press it away. So we're getting that stretching all throughout that hip as well. And then you would just switch sides. Another way you could do it would be taking your legs up to a tabletop position. So we want our knees over our hips and then taking it over to the side here and then looking over the opposite shoulder and then pulling back up to center and then you would go with the opposite leg okay some other alternatives that would not be laying down um, but sitting would be extend those feet straight out in front of you pull those toes up take a big inhale and exhale hinging forward at the hip, so I'm not going to round through my spine. I'm going to stay nice and long, but hinging forward, taking my hands to maybe my quads, my knees, my calves, um, or maybe all the way down. Again, trying not to round through that back, okay? So just hinging forward, but feeling that stretch all throughout here. So that's a few uh, that you could practice to kind of get into that lower spine. Um, one thing I do really like as well is like cat cow. So we get onto all fours, so our knees will be underneath those hips, our hands are going to be underneath those shoulders. So we're going to take those fingertips, spread them wide, and now we're going to work on inhaling, drop that belly, round through that spine, looking up, and exhaling as you pull that belly button towards the spine, reaching down. Inhaling, looking up. And exhale, pull, rounding through that spine. And that's another one of my favorite uh, lower back stretches. A few other ways that you could do it just by standing would be just stand normal, feet about um, hip width apart or so, and then just take slight bend in those knees, but hinging forward and letting our body weight just take us down. And it's okay if you don't go to the floor, you could kind of come to your shin, you could just start right here. Um, you could also use a chair to assist you if that's needed as well. You could also place that right heel on the floor, slight bend in that left knee, and sit it back. So this right leg's going to stay long, that left knee's going to bend, but I'm going to shoot that weight back into that left heel. So I can actually move that toe on that left foot so I know my weight's back. I'm just going to keep sitting down here and then pulling back up. But all of those will help to stretch into those hamstrings and then also get to your lower back. So good uh, luck stretching that lower back. I'll see you guys later.